They're burning alive in there, and I can't save them! The destruction, the loss of life, this slaughter was totally unnecessary. The very Ansu, heathen Ashlanders attacked Muthnar. This is a place of healing and refuge. We're a simple order, using the tear of Saint Veloth to help those afflicted by the Lodos Plague. They killed monks and afflicted alike without mercy. I gathered as many survivors as I could, but not everyone got out. Those monsters, the very Ansu, are tossing captives into the burning buildings. Our leader, Dolril Belvane, rushed back in to search for survivors and try to protect the Tear of St. Veloth. He needs help. I'm worried about Dolril Belvane. Without his spiritual guidance in this time of tragedy, I fear our order will crumble. Still, he insists we must have the Tear of St. Veloth, and he could not bear to stand away while others suffer, so he remains in Muthnar. Veloth shed the Tear after he led the Kaima from Somerset to Morrowind. The artifact has the power to heal sicknesses. We haven't been able to cure the Lodos Plague, but the Tear can slow the speed at which the Plague ravages the afflicted. I don't know. They revere Veloth, call him the Prophet. They hate this plague and probably want the relic for themselves. But they disrupted our work, and now the plague husks are everywhere. Violent, unthinking monsters. Without our constant prayers to direct the power of the deer, many of the afflicted were suddenly overwhelmed by the plague, and they transformed into those creatures. All the time, if you must know. Doril is... unique. For the leader of a pacifist order of healers, Doril craves action. He can't help himself. He's attracted to trouble. And he always wants to do good. It's very confusing for the rest of us. There's just too many of them. Quiet, or they'll notice us. I was trying to figure out how to sneak past all these Ashlanders so I could burn their supplies. They killed our father, and me and my brothers vowed revenge. It's just a foolish dream. I'm about as stealthy as a herd of Guar. That I do. I would really like to see their supplies burn. Are you someone who could get in and out without getting killed? I can even give you a torch. If you do it, Meet me and my brothers on the road north of Muthnar. Mm. I see cunning in your eyes, and smell blood on your weapon. But if you're a very Ansu, I'm a bloated netch. What brings you to Muthnar? Ela Senar worries too much. I never ran from a battle in my life, and I ain't about to start now. The very Ansu. Bah! They fear the Lodos Plague. Their solution is to capture our monks and the afflicted alike and toss them in the fire. I won't stand for it. I traded my sword for a monk's robe, but I'm no coward. That's the spirit. If it's quiet to the east, run west, I always say. Just watch out for the plague husks, and rescue who you can. I'll take the... Come, child. Let's get you to safety.
So, what a horrible fate to befall these people. I know that. But Doral isn't the only one who won't abandon the afflicted. I can't just leave. Someone has to collect the medallions of the fallen. The medallions focus the power of the tear of Saint Veloth. Wear one, and the effects of the plague are slowed. When the Ashland is attacked, the medallions were scattered. We have so few of them. They won't do anyone any good on these husks. Oh, thank you. If you succeed, bring the medallions to me, north of Muthna. Thank you for saving me. I knew Dolville would send help. Thank the Tribunal. It was getting so hot in here. Vivek, did Dolrel send you? Thank the Tribunal. It was getting so hot in here. Praise Vivek. Thank the Did Dolrel send you? you? You must hurry. Dolrel will be dead, and the relic will surely be stolen if you don't act quickly. They tied him up and threw him into a burning building, and they continue to fan the flames. They consider our work to be blasphemous, and fire is their solution to everything. Please, you must save Dolrel. I'm leaving before something bad happens to me, too.
It's about time you showed up. I was beginning to get a bit charred round the edges. Fire. It's the very Ansu's answer to everything. To them it purifies plague victims and blasphemers alike. Those Kwama droppings. I tried to circle around a pack of plague husks and ran right into an Ashlander patrol. We can't go, not yet. The very Ansu believe we defiled the tier of St. Veloth. They plan to destroy it. We have to get to the monastery and save the tier. If they destroy it, we're all lost. The tear is kept below in the basement. Let's go get it. Since the war. Which must have put a hex on the tear. Did you see that? Threw me clear across the room. By Veloth's hammer. That's the best news I've heard all day. Listen, the very Ansu are never going to leave us be, not while their leader's still alive. I know that sounds terrible, but it's true. Yes. Ashkan Ginasa leads these Ashlanders. Go to the Veriansu camp and kill him. Cut off the head of the snake, and the body dies. Then they won't threaten the tear of Saint Meloth ever again. Meet me on the North Road when you finish.
die for this. Why did this happen to you? Then we are avenged. Our father is still dead, but at least the ones responsible for his death paid a price. Why don't I feel any better? Thank you for doing what my brothers and I could not. Did you recover any medallions? I hope so. I don't know what I was thinking. That I could just go out there and find them all by myself. Thank you. Once the relic is safe and the Ashlanders are gone, we'll be able to resume our work. I may not be brave, but if I can help my order treat the afflicted, I will. We'll rebuild from this attack. Thanks to you, we can continue our holy work. We'll rebuild. Is it done? I put the tear of St. Veloth in a safe place. Now maybe the Ashlanders will leave us alone. By the three, let's hope the very Ansu go home now. I just pray I haven't made things worse. I left the army to get the blood off my hands. But look how that turned out. You killed him. But I let the arrow fly. Still, you have my thanks. We'll gather up the survivors and begin our work anew. The afflicted need us, and they need the tear. I just try to keep in mind that I always need to look before I leap. The destruction, the love.